In this video, I want to talk about Lissajou pattern and how to make a simple circuit to draw it. The waveform that appears on the scope display shows you the relationship between the voltage, which is y-axis, and the time, which is x-axis. So it tells you the exact voltage at any given time. However, in some applications, we can replace the time axis with another voltage waveform by setting your oscilloscope on XY mode. When the two waveforms are in phase with the same frequency and amplitude, the result will be a straight line with angle of 45 degree. However, any differences between the two waveforms in terms of a frequency or phase angle result some beautiful shapes. The curves that are produced from this method called Lesage of Figures. I want to make a simple circuit to draw it by using ICLM3914 for each axis. This IC can drive 10 LED depends on the amplitude of the input signal. I have an LED matrix consists of 81 LED. The first IC drive the X axis and the second one drive the Y axis. However, for Y axis we have to use some switching transistors because this IC designed to drive the cathode of the LEDs but in the Y axis we have anode. So the PNP transistors here working just like a NOT gate. This IC has constant current LED driver, so you don't need to use protection resistors for the LEDs. By the way, you can use 100 LED instead of 81. I turn this circuit to PCB and order it from PCBWay.com. After 10 days, I received my package, then I soldered the components on the PCB. Connect the X axis and Y axis to the function generator. I set the X axis to very low frequency and as you can see the LED moving back and forth. The same thing for the Y axis, this time the LED moving up and down. And now both axes at the same time. At high frequency we got a straight line with 45 degree. I set the frequency of both channels at 1 kHz. But see what happens if I add only 1 Hz to one of them. It just make a beautiful shape that keep moving. When the frequency of X axis is more than Y axis by 2 times we got this shape. And if the frequency of Y axis is more than X axis by 2 times we got this one. Lesage of figures can also show you the phase angle between the two signals. When they are in phase, we got a straight line. At 90 degrees, we got a circle. At 180 degrees, we got a straight line again, but this time in other direction. At 270 degrees, we got another circle, and so on. By the way, I'm running this circuit with 3.5 volts, and it can work with up to 18 volts. You need some offset voltage for both channels to keep the curve in the middle. This circuit can work in with maximum frequency of 10 kHz. So it's just an educational project because any oscilloscope with at least two channels has XY mode. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.